Hi there. This is Rick Leineker, and I am going to talk about getting started using links in HTML. This is for the Web 115 class. For starters, there is a, an example project up on Blackboard that you can download and just look at and use as an example. It's called Easy Links, and the file that gets downloaded is easylinks.zip. In order to use this or look at it, you'll have to unzip it or unarchive it. But anyway, here we are. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm in my directory, and I'm going to create a new folder for this example. And we'll say using links. Bring that up. And we're going to create a new HTML page called my main page dot htm. Open that guy up with notepad, paste in our boilerplate HTML, and here we go. We'll put a title in. This is my main page for using HTML links. Okay, let's give it a little title here. Here is where I am learning HTML links. The following links are part of my learning process. Let me just move that over, make sure I've got the end of that correct. Okay, looks good. Now, let's talk about the anatomy of a link. A link, there's no such thing actually as a link tag. It's really called an anchor tag. Um, and it's a single letter A indicating that it's an anchor tag. To start an anchor tag, you just say less than A, excuse me, less than A, and that <coughs> indicates that you are starting an anchor tag. Now the next thing, which is always required, is an href, and that's where the link is going to go. So href equals something, okay? Now what we're going to do on this example is we're going to say we're going to have three HTML pages that we'll create. We will go ahead and create uh, page one, page two, and page three. So I'm going to say link to page one dot HTM. Obviously that's not a page that we have yet, but we will create it. Now, <clears throat> this is the start of an anchor tag, right? Obviously you need an end anchor tag. And everything in between is what the user sees. This is what the user sees. Okay. Obviously, we're not going to keep that. But let's say here you can link to page one. So if you click this, you'll be able to link to page one. And I'm just going to save that and show you what that looks like before we get too far. Okay, here you can link to page one. You see the exact text that I put between the open and close anchor tags are shown there. Okay, and we'll put a little line break at the end of that. Go ahead and link to two other pages here. There's that. And that should be all we need for this page in order to get it to work correctly, or at least the way we want it to for right now. We're linking to three other pages. Okay, so, and this is kind of going to kind of be a process of uh, um, evolution. These, these pages are not going to start off being exactly the way we want to end up. For right now, we're just going to get them created, explain things, and then maybe make changes as we go. So, let's go ahead and create three pages, page one dot htm, page two dot htm, and obviously you can name these pages anything you want, 
But here again, I'm going to recommend that you don't use blank spaces because if you do use blank spaces, you are asking for trouble. Okay. Page one. Okay. That wasn't what I wanted to paste in. I got my boilerplate code here. I'm going to copy it and paste it in. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. This is page one. <clears throat> That's my title. Now I'm going to say, congrats, you have reached page one. Okay. We're going to leave it real simple for right now. I'm going to save that, dismiss it, and go ahead and render my main page. And obviously, if you click here, it's going to go to that page one. Okay. But what happens if you click here? Well, we created page two, but there's nothing in page two, so it'll just be blank. So what we're going to do now is just uh, get a little content in each one of these. Uh, here's my boilerplate. Magical, page two. Go. This here be page two. Save that. This is page three. Okay, save it. Now when I go and I render the main page, it goes to a page with some content. Okay, good. So each one of these pages actually it would be really nice if I could link back to the main page. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and add something so we can link back to the main page. href equals, and remember the name name of the main page is, I forgot, let's see, mymainpage.htm, mymainpage.htm, and I need to put some, go back, young lad, okay, so we're going to add this same code to each one of the pages. time and now when we render my main page and we go to link one we can link our way back to the main page now I need to say something about relative versus absolute paths okay so these are all what are called relative paths. Okay, Essentially, if I am in the same directory as page1.htm, that's all I need to do to open up page1.htm. However, let's say page1 was in a directory, in a folder, within my current folder. So let's say the folder it was in would be like uh, product pages. So that's one folder deeper. I just say product pages forward slash and it's forward slash in HTML not backslash product pages and this is still a relative path because it's relative to where I am okay it might be down to uh, levels um, my assets and so forth so oops misspelled assets of course it's phony anyway now if you want to back up to a folder above you you say dot dot forward slash or if you want to back up two folders, you say dot dot forward slash. Or if you want to back up two folders and go into a folder, dot dot backslash dot dot backslash, um, say scripts, you can do that. So those are all relative paths. But now what happens if you need to specify the exact path of something? You need to do it like this. www.google.com and you see that is a an absolute path and because the entire fully qualified domain name and possibly um, file name after that that's optional 
is spelled out, there's no ambiguity on where it is. Okay, so that's an absolute path. 